Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we will discuss pressure. is made of uh, 12 points. First of all, the unit of uh, pressure is Pascal. The correlation between pressure and force is as shown in the equation. Pressure equals force over the surface area. Uh, force is referred to as Newton. What is Newton? Newton, which gives a subject of one kilogram an acceleration of one meter per second second. It is uh, either changing or trying to change the state of the matter, whether it is uh, in a steady situation or a moving. So this is the, uh, the two equations we noticed. Uh, the force of gravity, the force of gravity pulling on any job, uh, ob object equals 8.9, I'm sorry, 9.81 meter per second second. This is the force of gravity on any object. So in a, in a, in a, in a substitution of figure, you see, you can uh, reach to the uh, final decision that one Newton equals one zero two gram weight. So we are transferring the Newton to gram weight. This is the point you must uh, uh, understand. What's the interrelation, the second point between force and pressure? As you can see, we have several points or con context of uh, examples. The first, uh, first example, as you can see, you have two syringes. One of them is, is uh, is a, 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 a two centimeter uh, uh, syringe and other one is 20 centimeter uh, uh, syringe. So if we want to figure out the, the pressure yield, we can we divide, suppose the, the force of application is uh, 25 Newton and we uh, divided by the surface area of the syringe is five times uh, uh, 10 to the pow uh, power of minus five meter per square because we are shifting the centimeters to meter. This is why we are multiplying by 10 to the power of minus five. So it will yield 500 kilo per scale. That means it's more than the atmospheric or it's more than the atmospheric pressure by five times. On the other hand, in the big syringe, it will yield around 100 kilo by scale. In the, in the, bigger, in the big, big, in, bigger syringe, of course, uh, the, the area is, is, uh, is created from the uh, radius, as we, when we, all, we all know. So doubling the, the, the radius will increase the surface uh, area by uh, four times. So this syringe will yield uh, 500, and this syringe, the bigger one, will yield 100 kilo by scale. Uh, as we know that the, uh, uh, the mean arterial blood pressure uh, by a kilo by scale, it's around uh, 16. So imagine the difference between the 500 and 100 to uh, uh, the 16, you see? Of course, one key, 100 kilo by scale equals one atmosphere, which is uh, 760 millimeter mercury, the height of the uh, mercury column. So this is the first part. Now, what, what's the importance of it? Of course, if we inject forcefully too much, we can induce extravasation. And on the, on the other hand, if we induce what we call the local intravenous anesthesia and we apply the cannula near to the pressure, the, this, this, this injection force will yield pressure which easily can escape under the tourniquet. This is why it's preferable to put the cannula far away from the uh, tourniquet. So this is the first uh, application of correlation between a pressure and the uh, force. The second uh, thing is the formation of bed sores. You know, if you have a patient and the patient uh, has an area of one, 10 centimeters in 10 centimeters, and the weight of this area subjected to bed sores is around uh, 20 kilograms. Of course, uh, 20 kilograms by knowing that one uh, zero to a gram equals one newton. We can uh, figure out how much this uh, twenty can uh, uh, create uh, newtons. You see, 
On the other hand, we have the area is 10 by 10, but it is centimeters. So you must shift it to meter to fulfill the proper equation. The end result of this uh, 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 situation will yield a pressure of 19.6, as you can see from the figure, which is also more than uh, the 16 that we mentioned before. So the patient is liable to uh, develop ischemia, you see? The, uh, the the third, third application is the expiratory valve. As you can see, this expiratory valve, we have a, a diaphragm and we have a spring. This 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 spring is in applying a force on this uh, surface of the uh, uh, diaphragm. On the other hand, the expiration of the patient is uh, trying to elevate uh, the diaphragm. So there is a balance uh, between the expira expiration of the patient and the uh, the spring of the uh, expiratory valve, uh, so so that uh, it, it, it can open easily by only 50 pascal. Imagine, imagine only 50 pascal can open this uh, expiratory uh, valve so that the patient will not be exhausted during expiration. So this is the second clinic application. The third clinic application is the safety uh, uh, valves found on uh, the anesthetic machine. You know, the um, anesthetic machine, in, in case that the pressure is increased more than, more than 35 kilo by scale, it can uh, destruct the components of the apparatus. So that, that this is why there is a release valve. This valve opens whenever this pressure uh, exceeds this 34. On the other hand, uh, in ventilators, of course, there is a, a, a safety valve, which acts at uh, more than seven kilo by scale. The, for, the fourth uh, or the fifth application is what we call the regulators or uh, what we call the uh, uh, the, the, the as we can see we, we have the first and the second uh, stage uh, regulators. Uh, these are devices uh, incorporated on the uh, cylinders to control the uh, flow and uh, at the same time minimize the pressure. You know that the 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 auction cylinder is around 138 bar a bar means first of all bar means one atmospheric pressure means 100 kilo pascal so in in such cases we are in need of an apparatus to decrease this pressure to 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 the pipe system which is around 41 point kilo pascal this is why we use regular regulators or reducing valves. See this, we have what we call the first stage and we have what we call uh, the second uh, stage. The first, uh, uh, the first one, as you can see from the figure on the left one is, it's also a diaphragm and there is a spring acting on the diaphragm. On the other hand, the lower part of the, uh, of the figure, you can see that there is a, a high pressure entrance, entrance of auction uh, and there is an, a, a low pressure out with outlet of uh, the auction uh, regulator or reducing valve and this this diaphragm is controlling a rod this rod is moving is moving through uh, a valve you see at the end of this rod there is a bulb you see so so whenever the pressure at the uh, inlet is decreased the, uh, the 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 spring acting on the diaphragm will be capable of to descend this diaphragm. It will be more creating more force than the one uh, beneath. You see, so uh, uh, whenever it, it's descend, this rod is uh, being uh, uh, shifted downwards, opening the valve more, so that the more oxygen is being transmitted from this compartment to the uh, this comp this other compartment, uh, trying to maintain the pressure and maintain the flow. This is what we call the first stage regulator or reducing valve. The second stage is what uh, we can find in the uh, interox valve. We will be uh, uh, mentioning it later on. And in the uh, uh, people working in fire, uh, fire uh, the, the fire uh, men or the pilots, you see, this, this second stage is a, a system of incorporated to the first stage. As you can see, there is a large diaphragm, as you can see, and there is a tilted rod, you see. Whenever I create a negative pressure, I'm in need of oxygen. So I suck. Whenever I suck, this system is being uh, 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 activated, uh, in, increasing the oxygen flow from the cylinder to the first stage. 
and through the second stage. You see, uh, the last uh, clinic application is uh, the whistling system that uh, is present in all the anesthetic apparatus. It is an alarm. It's, it's based on the first uh, uh, stage uh, regulator. As you can see, there is also a diaphragm and a spring acting on a valve. And when the pressure is increased, as you can see from the left side, it will activate a whistling, as you can see, uh, which will alarm the anesthetist. There is a decrease in the oxygen flow and, uh, and, uh, and at the same time, the, the oxygen tension. This system also is incorporated in uh, anesthetic apparatus to, to cut off all nitrous oxide whenever the oxygen is uh, being uh, decreased. The, sec the, the, the fifth point where we, are, we will be discussing about is the gauge and the absolute pressure. The gauge pressure is the pressure is uh, on the uh, manometer, you see. Uh, uh, so uh, the auction, uh, as we, uh, we, 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 we follow, uh, whenever the auction uh, cylinder is fully uh, full, uh, the, 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 the pointer uh, on the scale is, is, is on the one, uh, 137 kilo per scale. So whenever we uh, utilize this auction, this, this uh, pointer begins to, begins to decrease till it reaches uh, zero, you see? What's the meaning of it is a decrease to zero? It means that there is uh, 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 no oxygen is going to flow out, but at the same time, the pressure inside the cylinder is not zero unless I made some sort of, of a suction wave. You see, if I make a suction, I can, I can uh, minimize this uh, pressure. So at the end result, whenever the cylinder is empty, it is in a state of one kilopascal. So Actually speaking, uh, the absolute pressure will be the one kilo per scale added to the uh, zero, which is on the regulator. So that means that absolute uh, pressure means the gauge pressure, which is seen on the dial plus one atmosphere. So the 137 of the uh, tenth uh, liter auction is actually 138 kilo per scale. So you ought to use a, a vacuum pump to uh, to minimize this pressure whenever this this cil cil uh, cylinder is uh, uh, decreased. The gravitation forces of the molecules, you see, this this creates the uh, uh, atmospheric pressure. It's pressuring, you see. So it's it's uh, definitely affected by the the molecules, the density of the molecules, which affected by the climate, the altitude, the temperature, and so forth. You see. On the other hand, the pressure in a liquid column, the the, the molecules of the liquid act also as the molecules of uh, uh, of on the earth, creating uh, this uh, atmospheric pressure. Whenever I say uh, atmospheric pressure, I always mention it at the sea level, you see? You must put in your mind it at the sea level. So suppose we have two cylinders with different caliber, you see? If I fill the cylinder, each of them, by uh, 10.2 uh, 10 uh, centimeter of water, why, of course, we mentioned the one at the 10.2, uh, 10, uh, to uh, try to uh, memorize that the uh, Newton equals 1.2 uh, grams, you see? And at the same time, at the same time, one kilogram of water equals one liter. So you have one liter of water, that means it's one kilogram. On the other hand, 10.2 uh, centimeter is 10.2 gram, you see? So we have two tubes. One of them is bigger or larger than the other one. There is a difference in the surface area. So whenever I apply the, 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 the correlation between pressure and force in both tubes. I, 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 I suppose that the bigger one is as if it is made of four, four uh, uh, tubes, smaller tubes, you see? So if we divide the, the, the kilogram weight, as we said before, that uh, Newton can be uh, expressed by kilogram weight, which is 10.2 uh, uh, gram over the uh, square, uh, of the of the of the cylinder we have one one of them the smaller is one uh, square centimeter and the other one is four 
uh, uh, four uh, 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 square centimeter. So if we divide both, we will deal uh, a pressure which is 10.2 gram weight per centimeter or square centimeter. You see, of course, it is, as we said before, we must shift all this figure fr from an unorthodox system to an orthodox system, which is the system of kilopascal, which is made of Newton over, over a, a square meter. So we have centimeters. So if we multiply this uh, centimeters, I want to I want to shift a centimeter to meter. Of course, one centimeter equals a uh, hundred, uh, uh, one meter equals hundred centimeter. Of course, square uh, centimeter will, I must uh, 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 multiply the 100, uh, twice to yield a, a, a figure uh, that is similar to uh, centimeter. So we are shifting centimeters to uh, to meter. So we will gain the end result of all this that the 10.2 uh, uh, centimeter of uh, fluid in uh, either of the tubes is not much affected by the surface area, is not much affected by the surface. But, but the end result, we can reach to a conclusion that this height, this volume, will yield a, a, a one kilo by scale of pressure, a respect of the uh, the caliber of uh, the tube. You see. Of course, this caliber, uh, this caliber of the tube uh, 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 does not affect the final uh, pressure, but it affects what uh, the, what we call the surface tension, as we'll mention later on, because if we uh, decrease decrease the uh, the size of the tube the, the 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 height of the manometer will much be much increased in such circumstances you see so in in surface tension what's the meaning of surface tension there is a tension on the surface of a liquid so you know that when whenever i throw uh, uh, some water on a on a surface it 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 yields uh, spheres you see why does it why does it uh, occur because there is a forces as we can see from the figure uh, uh, between the molecules inwards of the liquid and uh, uh, direction of uh, strengths or attraction on the surface as you can see the difference between the one downwards inside and one on the surface you see so the 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 the, the tension of the of the molecules on the surface creates straight lines you're stretching, stretching. It it is it is uh, uh, it it is a representer or uh, as if it is similar to skin. The skin elasticity of the skin stretches the skin. You see, you see. So this this is why it's written as if it wear a skin. Wear whenever I say wear, of course, whenever I am uh, 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 trying to imagine something, I don't say I I I I, I wish I wear a, a, a star. You see, if it's, I, I, I don't say I wish I was a star because it is not possible, you see. So this, this lines of strength all over uh, the surface of liquid creates what we call the surface tension. What's the importance of this uh, surface tension? It is uh, important uh, uh, whether it is a liquid or mercury on the uh, meniscus that is created upwards of this uh, height of the column wide. Why this meniscus creates a problem, a puzzle uh, to uh, estimate the height of this uh, level. So uh, whenever, what is, what, what is the cause of this meniscus? Of course, there are uh, two things creating this meniscus. First of all, the surface tension between the molecules on the surface of the liquid, as we said before, you see. And also there is a, a surface tension between the molecules and the surface of the glass. There is a forces. So it reaches the height where there is at that point, there is a balance between the surface area of the situation and the surface area, or, or I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, the forces of gravity, which is balancing the forces that created this meniscus. You see, uh, this, this creates what we call a, a, a concave meniscus regarding water. But on the other hand, if we use mercury, as you can see, we create a convex curvature. This convex curvature, uh, curvature because, uh, as we said before, mercury that, that does not wet the, uh, the, 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 the cylinder. The, why? Because there, it, there is no forces, as we said before, 
between Mercury and the surface of this 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 uh, this uh, 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 this glass uh, manometer. See, see? Uh, this is why uh, the the Mercury is uh, convex. The the point of uh, eighth point is the effect of uh, uh, slope in a manometer. As you can see, this is the manometer, and we have a one kilopascal. Uh, as we said before, elevates the liquid at uh, 10.2 uh, centimeter. Uh, but whenever I incline this uh, tube, uh, I increase the sensitivity. I can see it is uh, uh, becoming wider, bigger. You see, bigger in length. You see, so it makes my eye uh, better visualize the difference between this height and this height. Uh, the pressure, of course, the difference of the height of the pressure between mercury and water is simply because the density of mercury is 13.8 times that of water. So if uh, uh, say 7.5 height, height, uh, 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 750 millimeter, millimeter of, of mercury is uh, initiated by one kilo, uh, one bar of atmospheric pressure. On the other side, if it is water, it will increase the height till 10.2 centimeters. So one of them will be 7.5 millimeter, and the other one is 10.2 centimeters. Of course, this is the difference uh, of using uh, both types of manometer, whether we are going to use CVP or arterial. You we can use both of them, you see? Uh, I, I didn't I didn't show here the, the figure showing that, well, how do we measure the atmospheric pressure? All these pressures, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that are, are called gauge pressure. What's the meaning of the gauge pressure? That means that the pressure yield is affected by the atmospheric pressure. So the blood pressure, CVP, you see, all these are gauge pressure because they are affected by uh, uh, the atmospheric pressure. So the blood pressure supposes uh, 120 over 8, we must uh, 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 add 750 uh, millimeter mercury to gain the absolute pressure, see? So whenever I want to measure the atmospheric pressure, I must, I must uh, uh, close, I'm sorry, the figure is here, I must clo close the uh, upper, uh, upper uh, uh, tube so that there will be no interference of atmospheric pressure on the opening, you see? So whenever I apply one bar, which is, as we said, 100 kilo by scan, we will ele elevate the uh, column to seven, uh, seven, uh, 750 millimeter mercury. This is how do we measure the, uh, the, the, the barometric pressure of the atmospheric pressure, where the end of the tube is closed. The, 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 the space up, upwards is called Torshilli. Torshilli space, and this is around one millimeter mercury. How do we measure the pressure? The measuring of the pressure uh, by what we call aneroid gauge. Aneroid gauges from the Greek word aneros means no uh, liquid, no water. We have two types. We have the Borden gauge, which is based on a hollow uh, tube, which is uh, stretched. Uh, uh, whenever I apply pressure, it will activate a gear system and a pointer on a scale. What's the importance of the gear system? It exaggerates the, the response. You see, this is what we call the Borden gauge. On the other hand, we have another one made of pillows. You know the pillows? So whenever I apply pressure from this uh, left uh, figure, it will activate this uh, system and will also activate the gear system and the pointer on the scale. On the other hand, we have what we call the differential pressure. If we have two openings applied to this, this system of uh, concertina, suppose, we have a pressure on this side and pressure from downwards. So we have two pressure acting on this system. So this, we call it different <coughs> differential pressure transducer. I will mention later on different uh, instruments based on this uh, differential pressure uh, 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 transducer. The figure on the left one will create what we call the absolute pressure because it's not affected by uh, the atmospheric pressure. On the other hand, on the right uh, figure, you can see that the pressure is being applied from two uh, areas. 
you see some the atmospheric pressure, suppose, and another. So this we call it a gauge pressure, and this we call it a, a, an absolute pressure, you see. Uh, other units, of course, uh, the, uh, in, in America, we do use what we call pound per inch square, and uh, if, if uh, 14.5 pound equals uh, one uh, kilo pascal. So whenever I, I multiply in this figure by 138 or 135, seven, I'm sorry, we yield around 2,000 pounds uh, of inch uh, of inch square in a, in a normal uh, 10 liter uh, auction uh, cylinder. Uh, and as we say, the, the tor, the meaning of tor or torcelli, it comes from torcelli space, means uh, one uh, millimeter uh, mercury. I hope that I uh, explained as much as I can. Uh, always, it is, a, it, is a, it is a matter of uh, figures. You, you must uh, memorize figures uh, so that you can uh, uh, fulfill the, the subject. And you put in your mind that it's made of uh, 12, uh, 12 uh, items. And you must put in your mind each item, uh, what was it uh, talking about? Uh, I hope that I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I am improving myself. Uh, uh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.